Uh, hello everyone, this is John Jenkins. It's almost time for the sun to go down here in Chicago. And I was just uh, wanting to talk to you about uh, Bill Cosby. You know, he it, it, it's just come to light that he admitted back in, back in 2005 in court, on uh, a uh, sworn testimony, that he, that he uh, bought Quaaludes and his intention was to get sex, you know, get, give, give those quailers to women so he could get sex. And, you know, uh, uh, most people are unapologetic in admitting that they're, they, they believe that uh, Bill Cosby was guilty or they, they wanted to see Bill Cosby go to prison because of what he said about black people. And uh, I remember I was in college when uh, Bill Cosby made his first uh, pound cake speech, you know, where he's talking about uh, how poor black people, uh, basically what he said was that, you know, poor liberal black uh, people, you know, from the ghetto are what's wrong with, with, uh, black America. And basically, middle and upper class blacks are, are, are pulling their share, but it's the, it's the poor liberal, uh, blacks from the ghetto, uh, who are, He, he says the poor liberal blacks from the ghetto who are making blacks look bad. And, you know, I was a, I was a poor liberal, uh, well, I, I was an am, you know, a poor, a poor liberal, well, I, I, ba okay, back then, I was a poor liberal black man from the ghetto, but I was also a college student, you know. So, in my mind, you know, uh, I'm going to college, I'm trying, um, you know, I, 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 I was, you know, he, 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 he talked about illegitimacy and I was a, I was a virgin, still am a virgin, you know, and, uh, so I took issue with it because I thought that, you know, I thought that, uh, I'm in college, which means that I'm, I'm the good one, basically. And, you know, you know, it, it, it took, you know, it took years at, at the time, I thought it was wrong, and I hated him because of what he said, and, you know, I, I, I wanted, I didn't know about the rape allegations, but, you know, it, it, it really pained me that he would say something about, you know, poor black people because, you know, uh, I, I felt that I wasn't the problem, basically, and, uh, It, it wasn't until years later, after, you know, I had gotten my, uh, got my criminal record, I had lost everything, I didn't even have, uh, government ID, I could have been deported, you know, it wasn't until I lost everything, you know, uh, got displaced, uh, uh, on top of that, I, I, I was, I was labeled, you know, I was, you know, branded for life, basically, and, um, 
it took all that for me to learn that, you know, I was, uh, I was, he, that Bill Cosby was right, you know, uh, I was a part of the problem, I was not part of the solution, you know, I call myself a college student, but with all my credits, with all my supposed education, I couldn't get uh, a job interview, let alone a job, you know, I was racking up credit card debt, I had uh, foreclo a foreclosed checking account, uh, 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 you know, I, 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 I was, I, I was uh, racking up $11,000 of, of uh, student loan debt per year. And all the while I was living with my mother, and uh, um, and basically, you know, I, even when I had a job. I didn't do the adult thing to do, which would have been to move out of my mother's house and get my own place and that's how I ended up with a criminal record uh, you know so basically I was living a, a ghetto fabulous lifestyle not wanting to behave as a, not wanting to behave as an adult not knowing what you know behaving as an adult meant and um, So, uh, I was a, I was a, I mean, I was, you know, I was destined for prison. If, 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 if I had let it go on any longer, I would have been on death row, you know, uh, or at least life in prison. Uh, so, you know, I was headed for prison, you know. Uh, I had this, you know, degenerate mentality, and so, uh, you know, I saw that, that Bill Cosby was right, you know, uh, even for us so-called, you know, good blacks who are in college, you know, if you have, you, you can't have, you can't afford to have a liberal mindset. You have to, you have to think, you know, if, if, if all the, uh, if all the, uh, if all the government programs were gone tomorrow, you know, and, if, if Big Mama and, you know, Mama and Big Mama and Auntie and, and, uh, Cousin and, 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 and Niece won't pay your rent for you and let you shack, you live up with them, you know, like you're that child or something, when you're a fully grown man, if they won't let you, you know, live with them over the age of 18 and eat their food and, and not work, then what would you do? And, you know, um, it's so, it's so sad that, you know, this is how we have to learn our lesson. We can't just, uh, learn from, from other people's mistakes, but, you know, I, I was fed so much misinformation and it was so enticing and so easy to believe, you know, but, you know, truth be told, I, I was uh, one of the one of the black people that he was talking about, and you know, I'll never be able to, you know, write my record clean is is a permanent for life. You know, uh, uh, and this is how I had to learn my lesson. So, you know. You know, 
it, I, I, I've said this before, if you're, if you're above the age of 18, then, you know, don't, don't live that ghetto fabulous lifestyle. If you're lucky enough to get a job, then keep the job, quit college. I, I'm telling you, you know, I mean, quit college and work, you know, get yourself an apartment, say goodbye permanently to the hood, to your family. You know, you can visit on Christmas and Thanksgiving, but don't stay too long. You know, you need to get your own place where you got the key to the door. And, you know, you know, so it's like, you know, you know, it's like, uh, it's like, you know, we, we, we black people, we black people have to uh, uh, think for ourselves because, you know, whether you're in a liberal city or uh, a conservative city, they're going to deny you the right to uh, uh, a job or if you have a criminal record. They're going to deny you your freedom if you can, can, can committed certain crimes and they're, they're going to deny you the right to protect yourself for the firearm if you have a criminal re uh, record. Uh, and I, I'm guessing that that includes misdemeanors. You know which I have, but uh, you know I have one misdemeanor. Uh, but uh, you know, if you, if you're a, a black person in this country, you always need to think: How can I separate myself from those who do not care? You know, I mean, how how do I separate myself from those? How do I separate myself from those who, who who can't even take care of themselves, much less another person? And you know, uh, and I, I have to face the I have to face the reality that there's a there, there's a good chance that I might never. Uh, become successful. There's, there's a good chance that I might be poor for the rest of my life. And, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it's not like, you know, I, I, I don't feel as though I, I, I would be more likely to uh, get a job if I, I didn't have a criminal record. But, you know, truth be told, um, it doesn't help. I mean, it just gives them one more excuse. Um, but you know, I'm going off on a tangent. Basically, you know, back back when I was a a, a, a poor little college student, you know, from the ghetto, and uh, I mean, I I was so ignorant back then. You know, I I had never even heard of you know Thomas Sowell. Walter Williams, I, I never read, uh, uh, you know, uh, Larry Elder's book, you know, I was just totally ignorant, and, you know, the, the events that, that, uh, that, uh, well, actually, I had read Larry Elder's book, but I was, I was still holding on to my, to my, uh, liberalism. And, um, uh, ba basically, you know, you, you, if, if you're, if you're a black man, you have to, uh, be independent, you know, don't, don't congregate, uh, with anybody because, you know, I mean,
truth be told, nobody really wants to congregate with you, and the ones that do are just going to drag you down. So you have to be independent, you know, you have to uh, go, to, go to the library, research books on starting a business, you know. Uh, research books on ha how to do things uh, so that you can have an income. Uh, not so you have an income, but just so that you can provide for yourself in the future, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I probably... I'll probably never be rich, but, uh, you know, I've got, I've got about 35 years left, and, you know, uh, I can use that time to make up for the mistakes that I made uh, back when I was a, 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 just a, a, a liberal black guy, a poor liberal black guy from the ghetto who thought he was different from the, the stereotype because he, uh, uh, he was in, uh, uh, some no-name college, you know, yeah, so, uh, let me know your thoughts, you know, did you, did you think, uh, Bill Cosby was right? And what he said about you know poor black people, the uh, the pound cake tours, you know, did 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 you, did you think you know that uh, he was being unfair? He was, you know, he was uh, glossing over the history of uh, United States of America and, and things that you know poor people went through and all this stuff. So let me know what you think and uh, have a nice day. Uh, bye.